In this video, I'm going to go over how to create your YouTube channel art in Adobe Illustrator CS6. I've created this file that you can download from my description below. So if you go to the link in the description below, you can download this Illustrator file. I'll also save it as an Illustrator compatible PDF if you wish to download it that way as well. This is my channel art. If you go over to my YouTube channel, this is probably what you see actually right here. Um, and as you see, this is the channel art. This um, computer on the wooden desk is the channel art. This other part right here is the logo. So that's a separate part of my design. And as you see, when I resize my monitor right here, my channel art will resize, but my mo my logo itself does not resize. So the challenge with doing this is you have some elements in your channel art that will hide if you resize it to a certain um, aspect um, or look at it on a different monitor on a different screen so here's how to measure it and if you again download this from my link below in my description below um, you can um, get a better idea of what's going to be visible on your YouTube channel um, first of all I've got this um, labeled right here as different um, labels in layers so if you go to window layers you'll see all the layers um, this is the mobile phone size as well as the tablet size, monitor size, and, and television size or full design size. Um, you can click off of each of these and get an idea of how each one will be resized. So this is tablet size. Um, if you click the next one down, that's the monitor size. If you click the next one, or if you turn the monitor size off, you see the full television size, which is the old YouTube standard, which was um, 2120 by 1192. Now you can upload a full design all the way to 2560 by 1440. So when you create your own design, you can just go to this full design layer and turn on the eyeball and you can create your own design right there. Um, but this is the full design. Um, if you were looking on a television screen that was the right resolution, you would see this whole thing. Um, so let me go to a different layer. I've got this background template to give you another idea of what this is going to look like if you turn um, on these little masks I've created here. This is the always visible area right here in the dead center. Um, it's a, The size for that always visible area is 1280 by 350. Um, that should be visible on most smartphones as well as tablets and other devices. Um, the next one down is for tablets. Then one after that is this is your full monitor size, full monitor size, excuse me. This is your television size. This is the 2120 by 1192 television size. So now televisions have gotten bigger, so they've even made that um, bigger, and you can upload that whole design to YouTube all the way out to these black lines. So the whole artboard is visible now if you have the right size monitor. Um, so what you can do is go to this full design layer and just create your own little design, whatever it is. Um, Threw some circles out here and you can turn on these masks to get an idea of what this is going to look like and if you want to move things around so that certain things are visible you can do that um, so get it set like you want it to look and you can scroll through each of these just click on the little eyeballs like I'm doing right here um, on the layers panel and you can turn them on and off and so see how it look on the full television screen as well as on the smartphone and so once you get your design laid out, you're just going to turn off all the layers that you do not want to be seen. Of course, you do not want the mask to be seen. You just want your design to be seen. Um, this is my design, so I'll just show you what mine looks like when I upload it. Um, this is the whole design, so I don't have anything... I don't have any of the masks turned on. I'm turning all the other layers off. The only layer that I'm leaving on is the example layer, or you would leave full design layer turned on. And I'm going to save that as an Illustrator file just to save my layers. So go ahead and save that as your Illustrator file, um, the format Adobe Illustrator. If you want to save it as a high quality PDF, that would also save your layers as well, as I've covered in other videos. Um, once you get that saved, now we're going to prepare it for YouTube. And if you go to YouTube, um, you'll need to log in to your channel. And um, once you log into your channel, you'll um, be able to see um, your channel art. And when you, um, if you haven't uploaded anything for your channel art yet, you should have words that say you can click on. And they say upload my channel art here. So click on those words, or you, if you've uploaded your channel art already, um, you can go to this pencil over here to the upper right and go down just hover over it and this pop-up menu will come up and go down to edit channel art and that will give you a um, description of what you want and 
I've already sized everything the right size, so you don't have to worry about this. But the um, channel art size is 2560 by 1440. That's the maximum size, and the max file size is 2 megabytes. So I'm going to export this to save it so it will upload to that exact size. So I'm going to go File Export, not File Save, File Export. Change your format right down here to JPEG and check use artboards make sure you check use artboards if you have something off of the artboard or running off the side of the page it's not going to save it the right size so using artboards is going to crop your work go ahead and hit export on this next dialog box that comes up make sure you change your resolution to be screen at 72 ppi and make sure you have your quality set at high um, I think if you save it as maximum it might be a little bit too big of a file size but high seems to work fine and hit OK and it'll just take a second it should just take a second to save at that size and then um, you can go back to YouTube and with this window open I'll, I'll take a step back I'll just redo this I, you just go down to go to the right go to edit channel art click select photo from your computer choose your JPEG file and hit open and it will just take a second to upload you can crop it further in YouTube actually if you want to click on adjust the crop right here it's giving you a preview of what it's going to look like on different devices If you click adjust the crop you'll need to make it smaller if you want to resize it or adjust that cropped area and it's giving you the safe size in that clear zone and their clear view um, so I don't really want that but if you want to resize it further you can do that right here in YouTube I might resize it a little bit something like that that looks fine to me click back on devices preview once you get that set it will resize it on the preview so you can look at it one last time and then hit select and just one second it will upload your new channel art to your channel so there you go that's how to create art for your channel so I look forward to seeing everybody's new updated channel art soon